The next generation of investors, it's really important to engage with them. As we all know, it's a big challenge in the industry. Uh, the way to engage with them, I think, rests on lots of different key values. The first one is certainly around digital, having a more engaging distribution channel. That doesn't mean digital across the entire journey, but making the onboarding, making the reporting, making components, the information insights as digital as possible. The second is around the product set itself and making sure that that engages with them in, a, in areas that they're passionate about, be that direct investments, private equity, private debt, real estate, be that around impact investing, be that uh, that's a growing area. Certainly about components that actually make them interested and engaged in, in what's going to do. And that's where it needs to evolve for the industry is about making it digital, making it relevant. The way that wealth managers and private banks can differentiate themselves is, is a key question that every CEO should be facing. Is we all know it's a heavily commoditized industry. So as there's the core offering itself, is that it's, it, there's no change away. You can't, something that the client feels like is commoditized is very, very difficult to differentiate. So it's the way it's delivered. And that'll be, whether it be, again, with the digital element to it, but it'll also be about the personalization of information. Making sure that if two clients have got the same portfolio, it's actually the way they engage with it, the way they understand and interpret it, what's there, is actually personalization of information to make relevant to you and how you respond. That'll be key. Second bit, again, it comes back to the products and how you differentiate in areas other than traditional assets. Private assets, by the very, very nature, is an area where clients can differentiate themselves. You look at private equity, private debt, real estate, they are areas where every private bank has access to great deal flow, be that from the clients themselves that want to syndicate, be that from their corporate banks, their investment banks, interesting deal flow that the rest of the market can't offer. And I really think that different alternative asset classes will be the way that our industry continues to not just differentiate, but actually stay relevant to our clients. The adoption of technology in a human-led industry is, is always a challenge and to, to me it's, there are kind of different ways it can go about it. If you want to adopt technology, you need to empower and make sure the relationship managers, the advisors are all bought into the process and they see it as complementary to what they do rather than a competition. You don't need your sales force wandering around saying I'm going to get replaced by a robot and it's go out. It's about making their jobs more efficient, taking the tasks that they don't want to do or are annoyed by doing be it the onboarding, be it the actual annual review process, the things that are, the, the meeting notes, simple things that technology can actually enable, digitize and make more efficient. So the advisors can do the bits they actually enjoy and care about and are good fun and talking to clients, but also actually increases profitability because they can have more engaging conversations with clients. They can spend the time getting to know them. They can spend the time bringing in new clients. I think the industry hasn't got the same challenges that everyone seems to profess. So they've been saying for the last 10 years, the industry is going to die in the next five years. It's going to die in the next five years and it continues to stay relevant to clients because people do still care about the human interaction. But those are still going to face the issue with digitalization. The biggest challenge is going to be around the opening up of banking and, and the aggregation of different services. It's no longer just good enough to have your entire product set and, and, and be your internal. It's about being open market, being collaborative. And that is the organizations that, that wake up and, and say, look, we are actually going to be the relationship with a client, but we will take lending from this bank or lending from that bank and, and be able to offer and be genuinely open market and open architecture is those that will succeed best. Events like today are very, very useful for us because one, we get to, I mean, we're, we're now a vendor to, to much of the industry. And it's important that you hear the challenges that our clients are facing in an open, frank manner where people are prepared to debate, discuss what's going on with them. Actually listen to them in a, a different environment that you're ever going to get sat when you're, you're talking to them one-on-one, -on -one, actually talking and debating between themselves and seeing how the different interpretations have got. It just creates that open environment where people are willing to discuss. And for us, it's just so important that we understand what are the challenges facing our clients and how us as a technology provider can help service them.